Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to our Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord and Savior, okay, the, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edified unto the elect who we endure all things for. So just wanted to get real quick into a uh, topic, you know, um, the power, the, the, the power in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And how we have to use that, that name in order to, um, you know, triumphant over these uh, spirits. All right. Over, over these, uh, these uh, demonic uh, spirits, man, that, be trying to, you know, fuck with us, try to, you know, hinder us, you know, in our day to day lives, man. OK. And, and it could be something as small as, um, you know, trying to upload a video. OK. Or it could be something as big as, you know, uh, you know, a real uh, a real uh, possessed spirit, you know, um, you know, messing with you, whether it be at camp or whether it be, you know, your job, you know, so on and so forth. OK. But we have to understand in in. Um, we have to understand and acknowledge that the power in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is over these spirits, man. Okay, through Yahweh Shai, all right, through that name, we have victory, we have power over these spirits, okay. And if we are the, 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 the men of the Lord, okay, these spirits are they know who we are and they're subject unto us through Yahweh Shai, okay, they know and fear. Yahweh Shai, and they and they know, you know, that we are the Lord's men, the Lord's chosen, so they respect us as well. Okay? Now we're nothing without Yahweh Shai, so that's why we have to use that name. Okay. You can't think that you can, you know, def defeat these uh, you know, demonic spirits or demonic entities on your own. Okay? It's not a. It's it's not of your own power. It's not of your own might. It's through that name that makes these entities, make these demonic uh, spirits tremble, man. Okay, and we have to really truly believe that because that's where the spiritual power lies. All right, that spiritual power lies in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is Acts chapter sixteen, verse sixteen. It says, and it came to pass as. As we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her master much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul in us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High Power, which shew unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of of Yahweh Hamashiach to come out of her, and he came out the same hour. Okay, so like, you know, sometimes in our days, you know, we we get vexed with these spirits fucking with us. You know, we might say, you know, fuck you, Satan. All right, or you know, we might, you know, just try to ignore them, or you get, you know, angry that you know certain a certain spirit or certain you know the prince of the power of the air is uh you know uh agitating you okay because just like how paul was grieved you go into that word grieved let's see what that word is all right uh d app o'neill d app o'neill it says to manage with pains accomplish all right laborious it says to be troubled displeased offended pained to be worked up all right and you know that's what these spirits do man all right. These demonic spirits, they try to work you up. They try to, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, rile, rile you up. Now, what did Paul did? We got to have that mindset of Paul, because when Paul got riled up by this uh, by this woman that kept, you know, uh, uh, basically vexing him. What did he do? Did he try to did he get carnal? Did he, you know, yell at her? And, I mean, you know, he commanded. But did he like scream at her? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Good. No. Okay. He realized that that this woman had a spirit on her, just like the majority of people that come up against us. All right. The majority of people that vex us. You got to understand that it's spirits that is on them, man. 
Okay? And the 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 Lord, Yahweh Shai, has power over these spirits. These spirits fear Yahweh Shai, man. You got to understand that. That name, they tremble at it. Okay? That's how much power our Lord, our Savior, our big brother, all right, exalts over these spirits. Okay? So when Paul was being grieved, when he was worked up, he turned to the spirit. Now, you see, the woman, all right? The woman was the one, the vessel, okay, that was saying this, all right? But the spirit was the one that was actually in the in this woman that was vexing, that was grieving Paul. So he said, "What? Paul, being grieved, turned to the spirit and commanded the in uh, Salak. Paul, being grieved, uh, turned to the spirit and said to the spirit, I command thee.' Now let's see what that word command is. All right." Par Angel, uh, An Angelio, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, Salakia, it says tri to transmit a message along from one to another to declare, to announce, to command, order, or charge. All right. So, so Paul transmitted a message <laughs> from this spirit through the Holy Spirit. Okay. And that's key because you're going to have people that's going to try to use the name Yahweh Shai. But if the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kodash, okay, which is sent to us by, by the Father through the name of Yahweh Shai, if that spirit is not with you, you saying the name of the Lord is not going to do anything, <laughs> okay? So Paul, through the Holy Spirit, transmitted this message to this, vex, to this uh, spirit that was on this woman, saying, I command thee in the name of in the name of Yahweh Mashiach to come out of her. And he came out that same hour. Okay, that's the power that Yahweh that name has, man. That that name rang bells in the spirit realm, man. <laughs> okay? That name Yahweh rings bells in the spirit realm. And Yahweh did what? He gave that power unto his disciples. Okay? I get this. Luke chapter 9, verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Because diseases, that's just nothing but, you know, uh, devils plaguing your body too. Okay? But Yahweh Shai gave this, his disciples, which we are also, you know, we're his disciples also. He gave us power and authority over these devils, man. And we got to use that power, okay? And, and just for a small testimony, a couple of days ago, I was trying to upload a video. And every time I try to upload it, it would, it would, it would uh, upload. And then all of a sudden, it would say aborted. You know, it would say aborted. And then I got to, you know, restart it all over again. So that kept happening like maybe three or four times. And I got, I got grieved. I got vexed, you know? So, you know, the spirit had it to where, you know, the spirit had me say what? Uh, uh, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And now the next time when I upload it, guess what? It went through, man. It went through because we know that Satan is the prince of the power of the air. Okay? Satan be, be all in the midst of these technology, these phones and everything like that, trying to vex us, trying to hinder, hinder us. So we have to do what? We have to use that name. All right? It's like a cheat code, man. Okay? Because that name, the Lord gave us power through the Holy Spirit, through his name, over these devils, man. Over these, over Satan. All right? Luke chapter 10, verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Let me go to this. Let's go to that word subject. All right? Because we got to really, truly understand the magnitude of of the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Because did not we did not it say in, in Philippians at that name shall all things bow in heaven and in, in earth and in under earth. So if the Lord gave us that name and gave us that power, we gotta use that, man. You can't just be out here trying to do things off, off of your own might, do things off your own your own uh uh you know flesh off of your own will. Okay, no man. These devils are subject, it says right here. 
And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. So these devils ain't subject unto you by your name, by who you are. These devils are subject to us through the name of Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh has exalted and who has gave all power and glory and might to. It says to arrange under, to subordinate, to subject oneself, obey. And that's why that devil, all right, had a, that spirit had to come out of that woman because he had to obey Paul through the name of Yahweh Shai to submit to one's control. So when we tell Satan, when we rebuke Satan, when we tell Satan to flee, okay, or do you have these demons that be coming up against us? Don't got you don't gotta go back and forth with them. Okay, if they vex you, you you rebuke that spirit in the name of Yahweh Shai, you have control over that spirit, man. And you could tell that spirit to get out of that 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 vessel, that person, or you could tell that spirit to flee in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay? That name is powerful, man. It says to obey. Okay? Hey, it says to be subject. This word was Greek military term meaning to arrange. Why, man? Because Yahweh Shai is the chief, the chief amongst all the hosts, man, on the left and the right hand. So if you telling a spirit in the name of the chief to get out of here, to, to be rebuked, to flee, then guess what that spirit has to do? They have to be in order, man. But now understand this, that if that spirit, let me, let me uh, pull that out. Now, if that spirit is not subject unto you because you don't you're not really in in the uh in the in the uh in line with yahweh yahweh bashim yahweh shy that spirit not gonna listen to you man um where is that at let me pull that up that spirit ain't gonna listen to you okay this is um spare with me one second um uh, let me get that. Paul, I know. There we go. Acts chapter 19, verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them. See, they were trying to cast out demons or devils by way of evil spirits. They were trying to cast out evil spirits by way of evil spirits, exorcists. All right says took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the lord yahweh shai saying we adjure you we adjure you by yahweh shai who paul preacheth and there were seven sons of one skiva a jew and chief of the priests which did so and the evil spirit answered <laughs> okay because these spirits know man these spirits this is everything is spiritual man every single thing that we are going through, that we face, that we see, that we fight, is all spiritual, man. That's why uh, Paul told us what to put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, our the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but spiritual. Okay, mighty through Yahweh pulling down strongholds. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai pulling down strongholds, man. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those names, man. It says, and the Spirit answered. The evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh Shai I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? Okay? <laughs> who are ye? You don't got the whole, he was telling them, you don't got the Holy Spirit, the, the Raka Akwadash on you. So, I, so I'm not subject unto you. Even if you're using Yahweh Shai name, that name is is like, hey, it's like a, a it's a key, man. And you can, you can try to, Use if you can try to open the door, but if that key don't fit into that door, it ain't gonna be open. Okay, but we we have we have confidence because we are preaching the, the true doctrine the whole through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shab, uplifting His name, so we understand and have that faith that through those through that name, man, these devils are subject unto us. Okay. This is Mark chapter 16, verse 17. It says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. So you got to truly believe on the name. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Okay. In the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
we will and have the power to cast out devils, man. To tell Satan to flee. To, to rebuke Satan. To condemn Satan. To condemn these evil spirits, man. To cast out these devils that are on our people. Because understand that even the elect, the, all the elect, man, that are not woken up, some they got they got spirits on them. Okay? And we got to cast those spirits out through the name of Yahweh Shai, man. That spiritual power is in the name, man. Okay? It's in the name. Let me uh, close it out with this. You know, and, and brothers got to really truly use that name. You got to use it. All right? You got to use it and believe on it, man. Com with with command commanding these spirits, man. Ordering these spirits. The Lord gave us the power over these spirits, man. We ain't got nothing to, we ain't got nothing to fear about them. Okay, this is uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kodash, is come upon you. That's the power, man. That's the power. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and into all into the uttermost parts of the earth. Man, these so-called Christians don't got that power, man. All right. These, these, these. People out here that think they know, well, they're not even really using the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They don't got no power, man. They cast out Satan by, by Satan. <laughs> okay? Let me get this in uh, Psalms. All right? But we have the power, man. And these and these spirits are subject unto us, man. And you got to you gotta truly believe it and you got to exercise that. Exercise that name, man. To show forth the glory, the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai in the earth. All right. Psalm chapter 118, verse 8. It says, It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. Hey, and that's even your own self. You can't put confidence in yourself or that you're gonna be able to, you know, uh, you're gonna uh, through through your through your might or through your knowledge, you're gonna be able to uh subdue these do these uh subdue these uh spirits. No, man. It ain't about us. It's not about us being uplifted. It's about the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai being uplifted. Verse 9. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidences, confidence in princes. All nations compassed me about, but in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will destroy them. They compass me about. Yeah, they compass me about. But in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees. They they are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will destroy them. It's all about the name, man. Okay, and our righteous ancient forefathers knew that. Okay, and that's where the power lies, man. The power is in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai being exalted. Okay, and when you exalt Yahweh Shai, you exalt the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right, and these and these devils, these spirits, they are subject unto us, man. They are subject underneath us, man. So with that, call law Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Use that name, Shalawan.